I really been sparing you. You been fucking feeling yourself, you bitch ass nigga, because of your bitch ass album and shit. And you really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I motherfucking hope your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your bitch ass. Hey Cardi, hello Cardi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and smash the like button. So Cardi B and Offset were spotted in Paris, friends, and Cardi B is pregnant. Even though she lied and told the paparazzi that she is not pregnant, but she clearly is pregnant. Only time Cardi B is covered up is when she's pregnant or she's going to court. Look, she has on a hoodie dress. And it's a hundred degrees outside. Look at those ugly Balenciaga shoes. I can't believe she still rocks with Balenciaga, knowing what we know about Balenciaga, knowing what they're about. And she's a mother, a mother of two with a third one on the way. And she still rocks with Balenciaga. I notice a lot of ratchet celebrities, they all rock Balenciaga. I don't know if it's in their contract. It's just odd. With Cardi B's feet, they were hurting her. She said she forgot to bring flat shoes with her. So at the end, she told the paparazzi to stop filming her because her feet were on fire and they respected her wishes, something that Offset will never do. So obviously, Cardi B is back with Offset and she's pregnant. Something is clearly wrong with these women. Because just five months ago, she was screaming on the internet, screaming like a lunatic about how she's about to expose Offset, how he doesn't take her seriously, he thinks she's a joke, he did her dirty, and now she's pregnant again by that cheating loser. Remember this clip? Check this out. Your shit. Because you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga likes to... Yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows... Yesterday, I could have been out, I could have been chilling, I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house, he knows that I'm chilling, he knows I'm not doing the most, and I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself, you bitch ass nigga, because of your bitch ass album and shit, and you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I motherfucking hope your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your bitch ass. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I fuck I tell you something, you don't take shit seriously. And I'm so tired of it. This was five months ago. You guys, I'm going to admit something that's very embarrassing to me. Now, everyone should know I don't like Cardi B. It's no secret, okay? But that clip did something to me. I don't know why. Because I cannot relate to Cardi B. I cannot relate to her situations. But I think it's because when she was screaming on the top of her lungs, I, I felt it. You know? It, I felt the pain. It was just like she was in pain, you know? Like she was hurt. You know, so maybe that's why. But I cried. I even prayed for her. And now I felt stupid because then not long after, she was back with the guy, with the loser. I noticed that anytime someone scream on top of their lungs, it does something to me. Like, for example, if I'm watching a police activity and a woman, even though she's at fault, she's the bad guy, but she's screaming for help while they're trying to handcuff her, I'll start crying. Seriously, I'll start crying. Now, I still want her to go to jail because she did commit a crime. It's just that the scream, when they scream like that, it does something to me and I just like, I'll start crying. But it's not because I want them to let her go. No, it's just like the scream. It is, it's not any scream, it's certain scream. Just, I can't explain it, but certain scream just, I don't know. I just feel for the person and I'm like, wow, I like how I am now. It wasn't always like this. Before I had a wall, you could not break through that. Now I'm like, I feel people's emotions. Like even when they, they don't even have to say anything. I just sense, and I'll start crying. Like I cry for people. 
like out of nowhere. It's just so weird. <laughs> you know what? Let's move on. This is about Cardi B. Hello, Cardi. Cardi B is an idiot. She's been dealing with Offset, uh, Mr. Cardi, for seven years. She has been dealing with his cheating for seven years. Remember when she filed for divorce in 2020? And of course, she took it back. <laughs> and five months ago, when, you know, it was out that he was doing him, you know, like cheating in whatever he was doing. And then she had to come out and say, oh, well, I've been single for a minute. So I don't care about all these things that's happening. But as soon as he had his birthday party and it was reported that Jade was there, that's when hell broke loose. And that's when you saw the video, the clip where she was screaming, ah, you, ah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what caused it. That's what triggered that video. It wasn't no, no, it was Jade. Jade is the woman that she almost went to jail over when she had her gang members beat up Jade at the bar throwing bottles at Jade and her sister. Her criminal gang members. Cardi B is a gang member. Okay? Over a man. A cheating loser. A dirty looking loser. She had her blood gang member go to the girl's job. They were throwing bottles. Men and women gang members. They threw bottles, like big bottles at Jade. And they hit her in the head. And they, they jumped the ball. Listen. Cardi B is not a nice person. Maybe Offset is her karma. Think about it. She's such a terrible person. I don't care how sweet she comes off. Even evil people can be sweet, can be nice, you know? And when she used to strip, there's a whole video where she was talking about how she would, you know, take guys from the strip clubs. You know, they thought they were going to get some. They would go to a motel, she would D-R-U-G-G-E-D -G -G -E them, and then rob them. I mean, those guys were scumbags, losers, but still, that's wrong. Offset is really Cardi B's karma because she cannot get that guy to love her, respect her, to stop cheating on her. This guy always looked miserable. Doesn't he always look miserable? I think they had a talk with him about him looking like that when he's with her because on the red carpet, he started to kind of look kind of, oh, he tried. He tried, you know, a little, but yeah. Yeah, this guy just, he does not like her. It doesn't matter if he have two kids with her. A lot of these losers knock women up every day. Every day, left and right. And they don't even like women. And they hate women. And they be having nine kids, ten kids. So them knocking someone up doesn't mean anything, okay? And that whole relationship was a PR relationship. It started off as a PR relationship. Their management put them together. The industry is full of PR relationships. The music industry, the acting industry, they all full of PR relationships. But Cardi B fell for him. And look, now she's on top. He's at the bottom. He is now Mr. Cardi B. When they're on the red carpet, whose name are they screaming? Cardi B. People don't care about Offset. Without Cardi B, Offset is nothing. That's why now you see on the red carpet, he's only on the red carpet now or being invited to certain things because of Cardi B. But she's so stupid. She feels like she needs him when it's him who needs her. And he knows that. And he knows she's not going anywhere. That's why he's not trying to change. He doesn't love her enough to change, to stop cheating on her. This guy loves humiliating her. And he knows she's so stupid, she's not going to leave. She's going to take it. This, I mean, come on, just five months ago. She was done. She came out and said they've been broke up. Quietly, they've been broke up. But as soon as reports come out about Jade and Offset are together and still hooking up, here comes Cardi B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what? And then now she's pregnant. And she think that's going to stop him from... Just, pregnancy don't stop a man from cheating. If he's been cheating, he's going to continue to cheat. 
A baby is not gonna make a man love you if he doesn't love you already. I don't know what is it about Jade, but it's like Offset been cheating with a lot of women, different women, not just with Jade. But for some reason, when it comes to Jade, Jade just be driving Cardi B crazy. Maybe because out of all the women that he cheats with, Jade is the one he really, really likes. I don't know, but... Um, so, listen to this. Last month, she was asked about her and Offset's current status. She says, we do love each other. It's not even about love. We're best friends. Yeah. Girl, speak for yourself. We do love each other. No, you love him. Now, all of a sudden, it's not about love. It's about being best friends. So they were not best friends before. So now they're best friends. They were not best friends before. Shouldn't your husband be your best friends without... That should go without saying, right? So you see how she's trying to change the focus? She is so pathetic. Then she says, how do you leave a partner? How do you stop talking to your best friends? Let's see. When they mistreat you? When they don't have any respect for you? When they don't love you? When they humiliate you, when they don't appreciate you, when they take you for granted, when they can't stop humiliating you publicly, even privately. Girl, oh my gosh, okay. So then she explained that her career comes first and her kids second. So her kids come second. Wow. Then she says that other factors of her life are always put before her marriage. Hmm. We're from two different worlds. How? How her and Offset are from two different worlds? They both ghetto, ratchet, whatever. She's from New York and he's from Georgia, right? Atlanta, whatever. So how are they from two different worlds? I'm trying... <laughs> You know what? I am not doing this with Cardi today. No, I'm not. Cardi B is going to have 10 kids before she realizes that this guy, it doesn't matter what you do, Cardi. He just doesn't respect you. He just doesn't love you. You know, he can't stop cheating on you. He, he won't stop. The best thing to do is move on. You know what? She put people in her business. She tell people her stuff. She comes out and say all these things. And when people, you know, give their opinion, then it's like, mind your business. She went off on her fans. Her body gang. Is it called body? The gaudy body gang. Whatever. Her body gang. Body gang. Her fans, pretty much. So she went off on her fans because when she did that, when that clip came out, when she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they were like, you know, you know, like, do not be with him. They don't like Offset, right? They don't like Offset. Her fans don't like Offset. She got upset because they were voicing her their opinion. They were telling her to not be with him. And then she was like, who said I was going to be back with him? Who said I'm with him? I'm not with him. Mind your effing bitch. She went off. I mean, she cussed her fans out, okay? Cussed them out, like, bad. And now look, she is pregnant. Oh, man. And just recently, there were, you know, rumors about him cheating again. Just a few weeks ago. So, man, listen. <laughs> I can't. I'm not doing this with Kari. No, 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 no. I will not. No. Hi, Kari. Hello, Kari. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. I am done. Kari B going to end up having 10 kids. You're going to be like, each, with each kid, you're going to be like, okay, this one will do it. This one will make him love me. This one will make him love me. The fifth one, the sixth one going to make him love me. I'm telling you <laughs> because it's crazy. And you know what? She makes more money than him. She is the rich, rich one. So, yeah. So, she's going to be paying child support. I'm telling you, this guy's going to take her to the cleaners. Mr. Cardi B is going to take Cardi B to the cleaners, okay? And she's going to be paying child support. She doesn't get it. And how do you get turned on by him? How do you still get turned on by a man who can't stop cheating on you? And he could be bringing you all sorts of... Dis man, he cheats a lot. He doesn't stop. And he's not even smart about it. He doesn't even try to hide it. Oh, my gosh. What does he have to do to show you that he doesn't like you? 
<laughs> I mean, my gosh. But yeah, I don't know how could a woman get turned on by a cheating man. I don't get it. Because this guy is, he, who knows what he's bringing back home. Oh, man, that's, ugh. Anyways, uh, that's not my problem. Um, yeah, maybe he's her karma. I mean, think about it. I don't know. But <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.